Hi everyone. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use the error statistics tool for removing outliers in your data in res2dimp. Okay, so here I am in res2dimp and I've loaded a data file. And on top you see the data profile with the different focus depths. And on the bottom, you see a measured apparent resistivity pseudo section. So I can click on a data point in either the data profile or in the pseudo section. And if I'd like to turn off that data point or disable it, I can click on disable. And this is a good way to remove outliers from your data. However, in today's video, I wanna show you an additional way of processing your data. So if you wanna do some data processing post inversion, we can use the error statistics tool. So I'm gonna run an inversion of this data without removing any data outliers. So I can jump to the inversion tab and click run inversion. And then I can just save that file. Okay, so the inversion's complete. The measured apparent resistivity pseudo section is shown on the top. The calculated apparent resistivity pseudo section is shown in the center. And that's the forward model that was calculated through the final resistivity model shown here on the bottom. And in the inversion info tab, you can see we have a data misfit of 14.38. So by removing some of these outliers in our measured data, we should be able to get a better or lower data misfit. So now that I've run the inversion, I can run my error statistics tool. And this shows me um, the data misfit along the bottom here of my histogram. So a lot of my data points fall in the lower misfit range. Um, also the data is displayed here on the right in a graph. So we have the calculated apparent resistivity versus the measured apparent resistivity. And those data points that lie on the one-to-one -one line have a pretty good data misfit. And those higher data misfit points will sit off that one-to-one -one line. So I can click on the various bins here and the corresponding data points will be turned off and you can see that here in the graph. Okay so if I want to turn off some data points I can just click on as many bins as I'd like. You'll notice in the measured apparent resistivity pseudo section those data points I've selected here to turn off are also disabled here so we no longer see those high resistivity values. And then to turn back on a bin you simply click on the right side of a bin and it'll turn back on all the points from that point and, and beyond, so the lower misfits. So again, to turn off a data bin, you just click on the right side of it. And to turn it on or disable points, you click on the left side of that bin. Okay, so when you're happy with the points you wanna remove from your data, you can click okay. And then you do need to save a new data file. So you can click save and save a, a new data file, which I'm gonna call after stat processing. Now we can go back to the data tab and load that new data file. And you'll see right away that it's removed all those higher or outlier points from my data. So I can run an inversion on this data now. So when the inversion's done, we can just jump over to the inversion info tab and see now that we have a much lower data misfit of 2.04. So thanks for listening everyone and hopefully you found this short video useful as an alternative method to do some data processing post inversion.